what, what, what does it mean for, um, for people of Fiji to have, you know, now a, a men's and a women's um, professional team at home yep. and have on-island opportunities to, to play professional Sensational. I've, I, you know, I think this is a, is a great um, opportunity for both girls and boys um, coming up through the grades in Fiji uh, and to extend this partnership with this uh, Pacific Island sports programs, amazing, mate. I think um, the opportunity that's been afforded to, you know, you just got to go through that um, flying Fijian team at the moment. You got uh, Kuruwolu, you got uh, Miki Niveri, you got about six or seven guys, maybe even more, that have come through that system, uh, which I don't think they may have got a chance um, to play in this flying Fijian team, uh, you know, f two or three or four years ago. Uh, so this is um, a really pivotal thing in, in, in Fiji and, and, and the development of the game um, and at a higher level. Um, so, uh, you know, I think the Fijians are, are very thankful that um, they get this support and even, even the women, I think, uh, to win a, you know, a super, super W um, competition back to back uh, is unheard of, really. Uh, and they've, you know, they've done it with very limited, very limited funds. Um, and this is just going to help them a hell of a lot more uh, when they travel um, and get them to a place where they can, you know, compete, you know, hopefully to that next level from an international point of view as well, um, against the, the Wallaroos and the Silver Ferns and, and the like. Um, the, the Pacific Oil Sports Program, uh, it's, you know, it's about, at its core, about strengthening ties between Australia and Fiji. Do you think Australia is now being recognised as a, as a big player within the sporting landscape of Fiji? Do you strengthen those big Yeah. Yep. Yeah, mate, I think Australia's always been a big player in the region. Uh, and they've always supported Fiji. I think you've seen some of the, the comments this morning by uh, the, the, the Prime Minister, uh, Rambuka, that uh, it goes way back. You know, he, he was obviously talking about peacekeeping missions in, in different parts of the world. Pat Conroy talking about the same thing um, in the Solomon Islands they were talking about. Um, so, you know, these, these relationships uh, with Fiji in particular uh, and Australia go way back. Uh, and they've always sort of been like a, a, a big brother to, to Fiji and the Pacific. Um, and I think Fiji are really thankful for that. For that. You know, I've, I'm, I'm probably a product of that relationship. You know, back I was born in Fiji, and then I've, you know, emigrated out here to to to, to Australia and found a hell of a lot more opportunity. My parents did anyway, um, and and end up playing for the Wallabies and representing Australia in two different sports. So, um, you know, I, I'm very thankful for the relationship that Australia and, and Fiji do have, and and I think there's there's a hell of a lot more stories in and around that. Uh, over the last couple of years with this Pacific Oil Sports Program as well. Last one, so Fiji had a, a wonderful result against the Wallabies at the, you know, the, the World Cup. Yep. What does a, a strong Fijian team mean for, you know, for rugby in our region? Oh, I think um, a strong Fijian team means uh, means they go to the next level. You know, that means they go and give these young girls and boys opportunities to to maybe go overseas, maybe make some money, maybe make some money to send back to their family, send back to their village, uh, all that sort of stuff. Um, and you know what, I think they keep progressing to a level uh, which they have been doing and are doing. I think they're, you know, why not put them in the rugby championship over the next couple of years? Uh, rugby World Cup quarter finalists. Why not, put, uh, why not put another team in there from the Southern Hemisphere and let them play at another level where they can keep improving the way they have.